So we are pleased that this measure of protecting pregnant women from working in the front line within the GHA is going some way, though we don't believe that doing it on a case by case basis is the ideal option. Because we would rather that healthcare workers themselves were not put in a position to feel like they are letting the team down effectively by choosing to have to appeal for this protection. We understand that these workers are very committed and so we'd rather that they be all told collectively to take a step back and maybe given the choice if their presence became absolutely vital. And I think that this way we would completely remove the unnecessary risks associated. I, I think that this is a common sense precaution because even if it is something that we don't yet have too much evidence on, we have already had one case of vertical transmission in the UK. And we do know that pregnant women are immunocompromised and more vulnerable to viral infection. So in a scenario where we don't really know enough, it actually makes sense if we can afford to, and we can because right now our healthcare services are not overstretched, that we make sure that these women have some added level of protection because they are considered a vulnerable group by many other countries, including Spain and the UK. So we would urge the government and public health to go the whole nine yards with this policy.